Here's a chordate that many of us love, the penguin. And oddly enough, this is an African penguin living in Hawaii. What a lucky guy. South Africa has penguins because South Africa gets some cold waters coming up from the south, from the southern ocean, just like uh, the Galapagos Islands have penguins. Again, cold water coming up from the Antarctic, from the southern ocean, along the east coast, excuse me, the west coast of South America. And so the water is cold enough to allow penguins to survive. This one, they import snow and ice and keep this little guy on display at the Hawaiian Hilton Village on, uh, in Honolulu. Hawaii. And of course all of us have seen this particular animal, the gull. This is a herring gull. This is a member of the class Aves, the phylum Chordata. Here's another gull. This is gull, another type of uh, seabird or marine bird, the albatross. And one of the sad things about albatrosses who spend most of their life at sea, they only come to land to reproduce, they often mistake plastic objects for food. And albatrosses, like many other marine birds, especially ones that live far offshore and depend on the ocean, uh, as opposed to living on somewhat uh, sort of half terrestrial, half marine existence, but these marine birds, these true marine birds, are mistaking marine debris for food and many of them are dying or their young are dying. They've actually cut, up and cut open the stomachs of some of these organisms and found lighters, just like the little Bic lighters inside. It's a really a tragic story and many, many, many tens of thousands if not hundreds of thousands of these birds are dying as a result of marine debris. The lesson here is don't litter. Everything you throw on the ground, from cigarette butts to plastic straws to anything that you throw on the ground, ends up in the ocean. Don't litter. And here's a picture of all the different things found in the stomach of a dead albatross. You can see all the plastic bottle cap. Uh, don't even know what this is. Um, they find plastic um, film cases and all sorts of other kinds of things found in the stomachs of these birds. It's really gross and it's tragic. And the lesson is what? Don't litter. Of course, as we again move into other types of organisms, move up into mammals here, we come to elephant seals. These are ones at Piedras Blancas. Here, a mother and her infant elephant seal take a little rest in the sand. And this is a wonderful place to visit along the California coast. If you get a chance uh, on a return trip or on a two trip to San Simeon, uh, where the Hearst Castle is, stop by Piedras Blancas. You'll see lots of cars stop there. You'll see lots of elephant seals year round. It's just a really fun place to visit. And you can just marvel at these incredible creatures, the elephant seals. And here's one of my favorite organisms, the gray whale. In fact, this one actually was kind enough to let me meet it and shake its hand, so to speak. I was able to touch the snout of this gray whale down in Magdalena Bay in Baja, California. Gray whales are a, a massive migrator. In fact, they undergo one of the longest migrations of any animals on Earth. Over 10,000 miles a year, they swim coming from the Gulf of Alaska down to Baja, California, where they give birth to their young. And then they go back up and feed in the summer and then come back down in the winter months to visit our waters here in California. Beautiful, amazing creature. Of course, dolphins are another amazing chordate uh, mammal. Uh, and these in the order Cetacea. Uh, and of course, we know about their intelligence and we know uh, really appreciate these animals. But again, like sea turtles and so many animals in the ocean, they're in danger. Uh, many tens of thousands of dolphins are killed every year as a result of the tuna fishery. And even if it says dolphin safe tuna, in many cases all that means is a certain minimum number or a certain maximum number of dolphins weren't killed. So the fisheries are still, uh, any net fisheries are still killing dolphins as long as they don't kill too many, they get to keep their dolphin safe uh, category. So be sure the kind of tuna that you eat is a kind that doesn't kill dolphins at all. Th those are the kinds of tuna that are caught on long lines, like albacore tuna, 
but that uh, chunky white tuna, not good. And here, of course, is the penultimate of marine creature, a temporary visitor to the world ocean, the human scuba diver or Homo sapiens. And although we aren't residents of the world ocean, we certainly have a huge impact on the world ocean. And it's a good time to stop and reflect on our relationship with the world ocean and wonder whether we wouldn't be much further ahead if we just appreciated the ocean rather than trying to exploit it and its resources.